of differently abled persons or persons with disabilities that is pwds this essay is basically derived from the may issue of yojana 2016 on the topic of differently abled or the persons with disabilities the essay basically summarizes the issues completely with the social inputs from other articles now let us start with the concepts and meanings relating to differently abled impairments is one term which means abnormalities of the body structure and appearance and with organ or system function resulting from any cause in principle it represents a disturbances at the organ level disability basically reflects the consequences of impairment in terms of functional performance and activity by the individual and in principle they represent disturbances at the level of individual what is a handicap handicap is basically disadvantages experienced by the individual as a result of impairments and disabilities for example a person with a locomotor disability may have an amputated limb which leads to orthopedic impairment this consequently is a locomotor disability and that will cause him to be handicapped in his accessibility to a large number of public spaces however it is possible to remove the handicap of a disabled person by the use of universal designs information communication technology etc now let us see the status of pwds in india pwds in india is a person suffering from not less than 40% of any defined disability as certified by a medical authority to get a disability certificate there is what is called inchen strategy which is basically an action plan for asian and pacific region to make the societies barrier free for persons with disabilities and to ensure their rights over a period of a decade now there has been a universal design that is a orientation to design based on the premise that the design process must be inclusive it should produce equitable benefits and it should be appropriate to human difference and it should cover irrespective of the gender demographic group social economic and cultural settings This approach is a shift from the special design of PWDs to a general design for all. Famous people with disabilities. There have been very famous people in the world with the disabilities. They are Einstein who had a learning impairment, there was a Thomas Alva Edison who had a hearing impairment and there was Louis Braille who was visually impaired. There have been many convention and legislations which take place quite often all over the world regarding the persons with disabilities and they attempt to address their problems in various forum There is an international convention that is a UN convention on rights of persons with disabilities as far as India is concerned there have been many legislations that is Rehabilitation of India Act of 1992 Persons with Disabilities Act of 1995 There is a National Trust for Welfare of Persons with Autism, Cerebral Palsy, Mental Retardation and Multiple Disabilities Act of 1995 There is a National Policy for Persons with Disability 2006 It has a specific provision for women, children, prevention, early detection and intervention and programs of rehabilitation and there is also persons with disabilities that is equal opportunities protection of rights and full participation bill of 2014 and we will discuss this bill particularly because it is supposed to be comprehensive and what it means to the pwds in india now let us start with the basic concept what is the disability according to the bill in this act the disability has been defined as blindness low vision leprosy cured hearing impairment locomotor disability mental retardation and mental illness now let us go through the highlights of the bill this bill replaces the persons with the disabilities 
equal opportunities and protection of rights and full participation act of 1995 there was a, an earlier act in this matter however in this bill instead of a seven disabilities specified in the act the bill would cover now 19 conditions persons with at least 40% of disability are entitled to a certain benefits such as a reservation in education employment preference in government schemes etc the bill confers several rights and entitlements to disabled persons these include disabled friendly access to all public buildings hospitals modes of transport polling stations etc in the case of mentally ill persons the district courts may award two types of guardianship a limited guardian takes a decision jointly with the mentally ill person and a plenary guardian takes a decision on behalf of the mentally ill person without consulting him the act has a penal provisions any violation of any provisions of this act is punishable with the imprisonment up to 6 months and or fine of 10000 rupees and subsequent violations carry higher penalty and now let us analyze the key issues that have been covered in the bill and how far they would be useful in the present context the bill is being brought into a full obligation under an international treaty therefore it has a universal mandate and approval which therefore is supposed to cover wide areas of concerns relating to the pwds the question is whether it is appropriate for the parliament to impose a legal and financial obligations on states and municipalities with regard to disability it is because it is a state list subject this is the question that is been raised by many people the financial memorandum does not provide any estimate of the financial resources that are required to meet the obligations under the bill the bill states that the violation of any provision in the act will attract imprisonment and or fine but given the widespread obligations such as making all polling booths accessible to the disabled many acts of omission or commission could be interpreted as criminal offenses therefore this aspect of the bill is subject to the success of implementation and the practicability of implementation in extraordinary situations the district courts may appoint a plenary guardian for mentally ill persons however the bill does not lay down principles for such determination in a consistent manner across various courts the bill overrides the mental health act of 1987 but the safeguards against the misuse of powers by the guardians are lower or not stringent this bill is inconsistent with other laws in some cases for example the conditions for terminating pregnancy and the minimum penalty for outraging the modesty of women are same as for the normal woman whereas the person with disability woman should have been considered as a special case and a special penal provisions were called for all government institutions of higher education and those getting aid from the government are required to reserve at least 5% of seats for persons with a benchmark disabilities now let us also remember some important facts relating to persons with disabilities to start with pwds in india account for as much as 2.2% of the total population that is nearly 27 million in number there is a, what is called a nammawani which is an interactive voice support system which provides a virtual networking of disabled across karnataka and the such a initiative is not there in many states as regards education the government schemes that aim to cover pwds are sarva shiksha abhiyan which is a inclusive education scheme but however 51% of pwds remain illiterate according to census of india of 2011 the pwds suffer from the exclusion they are not included in the many developmental aspects and causes for this exclusion are number 1 exclusive policies 
Number two, framework for monitoring the disabilities is a state subject and education is a concurrent subject. Therefore, there is a division of the obligations and the duties for the both central and state government which makes the responsibilities divided and therefore there is a dissipation of responsibilities in to look after the welfare of the disabled persons. Education for differently abled children is a responsibility of two ministries, for example, Ministry of HRD and Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Therefore, this is an ambiguity where coordination is required. There is no provision for early childhood inclusion of children with special needs in India. The Government of India, however, has taken many initiatives and the recent initiatives that can be noted are the National Education Policy of 2015 does include PWDs and there is a special mention for it. So also there is a Stand Up India where a component for the disabled has been earmarked. The Government of India has also a special scheme and incentives in the area of skilled training for the PWDs. It recognizes the special needs of the PWDs in skill training and it includes attitude and life skills development, parent development, peer-to-peer -peer training and need for a counselor and a psychiatrist to skill people with the psychological disabilities. Further, the national skill policy has a provision for skilling people with disabilities a special incentive is there and the Department of Empowerment of Persons with the Disability has been created in the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment and it has initiated a new programs like Accessible India Campaign and National Action Plan for PWDs, the Skill Council for PWDs. As for the financial benefits for the PWDs, there has been a financial inclusive schemes for the PWDs because the PWDs constitute the poorest of the poor and the challenges they face of course are low mobility, physical barriers, low level of education about financial products and this population of PWDs is scattered all over India. Now for this, the government response has been to set up a National Handicapped Finance and Development Corporation. It supports both credit, that is self-employment loans, educational loans, etc. and a non-credit based activity that is skill training and scholarships. A special mention has to be made regarding the Accessible India campaign, that is the components are the built environment that is for example ramps in public buildings, accessible parking, accessible toilets, braille symbols and auditory signals in the elevators. They have been mandated by law. Further, the public transport that is in railway stations, airport, trains and buses etc. There is a special accessible ramps and other necessary things as mentioned above are provided. The information and communication technology is being deployed for this purpose that is there is a public websites and public documents and public TV programs that are meant for PWDs. In this area therefore there are web portals and there are mobile applications and accessible index that have been developed. In spite of this there are many challenges to this accessibility factor. They are. There has been emphasis on access auditing and absence of trained access auditors in the country, which makes the monitoring of these facilities rather difficult. The accessibility movement has been confined basically to the urban areas. It does not contain a provision for accessibility in privately provided public spaces. There is no focus on making road transport accessible to the PWDs and the focus appears to be on retrofitting and nothing on accessibility of the new buildings. Therefore, there are many potentials and possible ways by which 
the PWTs can be benefited. They can be part of the inclusive development in all respect. That is legislation and policy and building regulations, urban and rural development laws, public transport, etc. These are the areas where improvements can be made. Second is there has been a proposal for Indian Sign Language and the National Institute of Inclusive and Universal Design that is proposed that will greatly help the PWDs in India. Further, there is a potential to develop and promulgate minimum standards for different aspects of accessibility and that would include building standards etc. Professional courses such as architecture, engineering, design etc. must have a universal design and accessibility as a mandatory subject at the graduate level itself so that the future architects would incorporate these aspects for PWDs and all programs must have a component for the disabled. Further, there is a need to identify criteria, evolve a criteria for priority for the PWDs in public procurement. Even the private services and the private companies, private corporations will have to involve themselves in providing employment and other services for the PWDs in India. Thank you.